Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The title, <laughs> when I begin to get prophetic words like these, I'm always very happy. Why? Because I love it when the Bible begins to fulfill its um, purpose or when the scriptures have been fulfilled. The Bible says, whatsoever you sow it, you shall reap it. This woman is running and she's hiding. This woman is running and she's hiding. This woman is running and she's hiding. And this woman is a witch. Yeah, she's a great witch. She's, <laughs> I said she's a great witch. <laughs> she's a big witch. <laughs> God have mercy. <laughs> Hallelujah. This particular woman is running and is hiding. You know, there are a lot of people who begin to run and when nobody is chasing them. There are people whom when the time comes for them to begin to reap what they have been sowing, they are running health as scatter when nobody is chasing them. When nobody's saying, hey, you come here. When <laughs> they begin to run. And I've seen this happen. And this is about to be shown to you. You see it. And you're going to confirm this because it, it looks funny. But this is exactly what is going on right now. And this is exactly what is happening. But one thing is when God wants to expose you, no matter how much you run and no matter where you run to, God will still expose you. Because it's God, it's not a human being. He is God. The Bible says it is not by might, it is not by power, but it is by the spirit of the living God. The Bible says, for God is not a man that he should lie, and neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it and will he not do it? Has he spoken and will he not come to pass? The Bible says my word will not leave and come back to me the same. Number one, without accomplishing my heart desires. That is God speaking. Which means God's word will never leave and come back without accomplishing his desires for us. And number two, without accomplishing the mission for which the word was sent. The word of God is sent to us at this point in time, and this is very different. And it will make it will make sure that the word is manifested, that it comes to pass. Now, I saw a particular woman, and this woman is a witch. And this woman has been attacking you and a lot of people. I say it again. This woman has been attacking you and a lot of people. And right now is the time of exposure for this particular woman. This particular moment and this particular time of exposure has come. And because Nemesis has caught up with this particular woman, this woman has no choice than to start running and to start hiding. You know why? Because this is the time for their confession. The fire of the Lord is burning them. And until they confess and they begin to say the truth and they begin to expose themselves, it's not going to stop burning. There are people with so much pride. There are people who would prefer to keep burning. And you know, a witch is very foolish. Yes, you know why? The devil is very foolish. Because the devil knows that he's always going to keep attacking you and suppressing you and all of that. But the devil doesn't know that there's going to be a time where God is going to begin to expose and, and, and show and reveal a lot of things. But one thing I love about God is his infinite mercy. God will always have mercy. Now, let me tell you something. If Satan would have repented and asked God for forgiveness, personally, based on what I think, I think God would have forgiven him and still taken him back. That is one I, what I know about God. But Satan was so rebellious and was not repentant. And that's how stupid the devil is and the people that Satan begins to use. 
sometimes they feel like they are so intelligent that their intelligence gets into stupidity and they feel like they are still winning you know that's the case with somebody who is attacking you and is not checking whether you're building yourself they are only always attacking you not knowing that sometimes you're just quiet because you're building yourself and you're working on yourself and if they can confess god is going to have mercy if they are willing to change and they are repentant so the reason they are running away is because they are not repentant and they are not willing to change but god is about to expose them god is exposing witches and wizards this woman has been attacking you and it's not only you this woman has been attacking a lot of other people so people have been under the attack of this particular woman but God wants to expose this woman and bring her to confession. But this woman is running and hiding because she doesn't want to confess. But to prove to you that this word is real, you will see the manifestation of this. Because they are eventually going to come to the place where they will give up. You will see God is going to expose them. When you see this exposure, you will remember this word. I pray that this word doesn't come in vain. Let the Lord begin to expose your enemies, every unfriendly friend. Sometimes it's always very shocking at the people you're going to see. Please type it on the comment section if you're connecting yourself to this prophetic word. And make that a confession to the Lord. Expose my enemies. Expose every unfriendly friend in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. If this has been of great blessings to you, please pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord to lead you. You want to sow a seed, you want to connect yourself to what God is doing in this ministry and in my life. Please kindly get to my about. You see every of my PayPal and my catch up information right there. God bless you in the name of Jesus, amen. Do not relent on praying for me. Your prayers are keeping me, your prayers are causing great and amazing changes in my life. God is using you powerfully to bless me through your prayers. God bless everybody who has been giving in this ministry. God bless your heart. I see people who have been dedicated in giving, blessing me, blessing my ministry. It goes a long way. God bless your heart. Thank you so much. God bless you. Please do not forget to like. Do not forget to share. And do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please kindly subscribe. Join this amazing family. I love you already. If you just subscribe and you're welcome. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.